In this video, I'm going to show you the best motion graphics and animation projects from the last month. Again, there have just been so many ridiculous projects coming out recently. Now, I love showing off work like this that inspires me and hopefully inspires you too and introduces you to some new artists and studios. Please let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos like these, what some more styles of animation, motion design, motion graphics you'd like me to include. And please give this video a like if you are finding it useful. That really helps these videos get seen and helps me grow the channel so I can keep bringing out videos like this and other tutorials every week. And we're going to start off with a couple of the projects that I've missed in the last few videos. The first one comes from Tendril, who have animated this bot for Microsoft. And I've covered part of this campaign previously in this series, but this one might just be my favorite. It's just a beautiful mix of all these colors, shapes, and forms. And I definitely love representing a 2D interface as 3D objects. I think as an industry, simplifying a UI in 2D with vector graphics has just become something we're so familiar with and that we've done so much of that when something is so shiny and 3D and luxurious, it really stands out to me and I love this. I can see it's becoming a trend. At the moment, I don't mind that because it looks just so good. The next one comes from Device, who have created this animation for Gook. And this is just a beautiful representation of animated line art. And something like this, you might think, oh, well, they can just animate that with trim paths. No, once you have lines that are moving and flowing, that becomes next to impossible just using a trim path. I'm sure that technique is used in some of these scenes, but I think the majority of this is probably done frame by frame. Maybe in After Effects, maybe using the pen tool, but there is so much consideration being paid here to all of these. And whoever made this, is definitely going to be a pro at Line Rider. This was amazing. And another one that I missed from earlier this year is the 2020 Vision Get Wild Awards from Beto. Maybe Bito? Anyway, this has just got every single thing I love. It's got geometric shapes, nice grainy texture, and a mix of a whole bunch of other styles in there as well. I particularly love their typography using the Chinese characters, the mix into 3D and frame by frame animation, the paper texture, we've got spray paint, and it all just works so well together. We've just got one minute of pure, gorgeous motion design happiness. And now into the latest stuff from around November in 2020. This first one's from Gunner. This one's very fresh. It was posted one day ago at the time of recording. Now this is just a fun studio project with them animating a voice memo. And to me, this seems very Tim and Eric making this exceptionally weird and esoteric infomercial style video, but animated with so much effort and detail. This is just fun. I could watch projects like these every day of my life. It's complete kit collection for only 24 payments of 1995. You could receive this quality Next, we've got Mocap Zoo Park by Art and Graph. Again, another studio project, and it shows a world not unlike Jurassic Park, but where all the creatures are weirdly designed and all animated with motion capture suits. And again, just really fun, really weird. Definitely sign me up for a year long subscription to Mocap Zoo Park. Delicious. And next, Reese Parker animated the promo for Time Lord, a new plugin from Battle Axe, which helps you switch between a frame by frame workflow in After Effects, in Photoshop, and Animate. And this plugin is definitely something that I plan on covering further in this channel as well. So stay tuned for that. Reese Parker has definitely of late just become an absolute weapon. And he puts his unique flavor into frame by frame animation in every project he does, where it's got reduced palettes and harsh shadows and everything you want to amplify and show that this was handmade. This wasn't done by a computer. There's human beings sitting behind this with their ideas, their design decisions, and it's them that are the reason why this is so good. Not because of the software, not because of the machine, not even because of a plugin. So this was awesome. Well done, Reese. I'm sure he doesn't need to hear that from me though. This was great. Joyce Ho released this personal project called Resonance, and I'm a huge fan of Joyce's work. She does these really abstract 3D sort of experimental designs, and she's just done an amazing job with this. This is so hypnotic and captivating, and I would really love to show more abstract personal projects like this one, where it's just an experiment about shape and form, and this one in particular communicating sort of resonance with vibration and the different intensities. It's just so confident in the way that it holds on these shots for a good amount of time and lets you take in what's on screen and determine for yourself what it means, what's going on, and lets you feel the subtleties in the rendering, in the design, in the animation. This was great.
Studio AKA released this one called Value You for Belfair. Now this is an animation for awareness about human trafficking. Now really a heavy topic. Now this video doesn't linger too much in the darkness of the subject matter. What I think is exceptional about this one is the use of scale and composition to communicate its ideas. Throughout many of the scenes in this animation, the character is just tiny in her environment. And that really helps the story and really guides your eye to be looking at what's important in the scenes. This is really good visual storytelling. I would definitely recommend checking out the full animation. It's all too good to be true because their love is a lie. And those gifts always come with strings attached. Next, Dana A. Gosset directed this amazing music video, Hello Islands, with their track, Don't Let The Light In. And what I love was that every frame of this animation, it was originally animated in 3D, and then all of those frames were printed out individually with a risograph printer, which created this beautiful, speckled, distressed look that I absolutely love. And for three minutes of animation, that is hundreds and hundreds of frames that they had to print out and scan back in, and the result is just gorgeous. I love it when that extra effort is made to make sure that a texture or an organic sort of distressing or messing up of your image is made authentic. We can do it reasonably well by faking it inside After Effects, but really when it's done properly, you can really tell. And this is certainly one of those cases. The Annie Film 2020 trailer made by David Stumpf and Michaela Mihaly. And this has to be one of my favorites. I love the character design, but really what I love most about it is that the design looks so 2D and flat. And when you initially see it, you think that's such a simple reduction for these characters to these simple forms and colors. And then one of the characters will do this insane 3D rotation. And there's just so much good character animation in there. And the characters stay on model and still look great in this flat 2D style. But the animation gives it so much depth. This is just superb. I love everything about this. Triz Studio made this video for Siemens Architectural Digest. For me, the 3D animation here is just stunning. It subtly represents the architecturalness of the products and amplifies that by showing all these close-ups and abstract views of what could be parts of the machinery mixed in with the actual product as well. And it's just so clean and so slick. And I love this last shot where all these cubes sort of settle down and you see the full suite of the products in a kitchen. Elastic produced this video for Google called Trillions of Questions, No Easy Answers. And what works so well in this piece is that this animation style is normally super, super cheesy. Where a 2D illustration that was never meant to be animated is animated roughly with puppet pins or maybe rigged together sloppily and it feels really floaty and not considered. But here they lean into that and they get so detailed with how these are animated. The rigs for these characters, if they even used rigs, must have been insane. If not, the amount of keyframes must be ridiculous because they make it look so good with so many of these characters. And I think because they go the extra yard and mix in 3D elements as well and making their own 2D assets, of course, they're not just restricted by here was the photo, let's puppet warp it as best we can. No, they made a lot of new stuff and put care into every show it, even though they may only last a few frames. This is fantastic. I was fully captivated for the full one and a half minute of this animation. It was a journey with numerous hardships and countless setbacks. Anna Lau Walker directed this spot called Boobs. And this is for an upcoming book called Boobs, Art for Breast Cancer, which is coming in March, 2021. And the book is a celebration of boobs in different illustration styles to raise money for breast cancer. And this promo includes a bunch of them animated. It's really fun. The animations is all different for all the animation styles. And it is excellent. What's not to love about this? And hopefully I don't have to blur any of this out on YouTube because this is just excellent. Next is one of the most ambitious projects that I've seen this year. This is the Being Human Is series for Android, which is directed by Nico Carbonaro and Tuesday McGowan. This is a series of five videos, all three and a half minutes long, showing how technology has impacted a certain person's life. And these have everything going for them. The stories are really heartwarming and beautiful. And then the animation on top is flawless and interweaved so well into the stories. The pacing is done so well. There are those quiet moments, but there are huge moments of action with this beautiful detailed frame by frame animation they mix in 3d and all sorts of styles giant ant odd fellows mister and where the buffaloes roam all worked on the animations for these videos and this is as wonderfully executed as you could hope for a project like this 
Now onto some awesome clips from Instagram of some shorter projects and personal loops that deserve just as much attention as those big projects that cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to produce. Joe Brooks, who goes by Brooks Motion on Instagram, created this awesome experimental piece. I remember seeing this and this blowing my mind. It's sort of this wormy, organy texture, which feels a bit H.R. Geiger. And the way it looks makes it look like it's this really well-lit 3D forms. But this was all done in After Effects and it gives a little recipe in his post as well, using a gradient map, Tyler, Turbulent Displace, duplicating layers and shifting the gradients and using the subtract blending mode. But this was just excellent. I love that there are still so much in After Effects that surprises me. And this was certainly one that I loved. Javier Ibanez created this one for Vans, and this is just a short loop. I loved how simple and design focused this is. This is great. Nicholas Grandry and Renaud Levensi created this animation, and I love how much is going on in this short loop. There are so many little details with anticipation and overshoot, and everything's in there. You can really feel the 3D depth as well, particularly in the cassette. I'm not sure if that was done with fake 3D with shape layers or if that was an actual 3D asset, but either way, they pull it off so well. And I love this design with really dark, harsh shadows as well. This is great. And Tyler Morgan, an animation director at Oddfellows, created these three wonderfully weird short loops of animal and food blends. So here we have some pigs and corn doing these wonderful bounces. And of course, he's posted the roughs as well. We've got 3D turnarounds, which I absolutely love. We have baguette dogs too, and some pumpkin frogs as well. These are just really fun. I love this kind of personal work. And another personal project from Nathan Mozzo. This is just a really fun animation of this crocodile and bird having a little interaction. There's some wonderful smears. I love the character animation. And there's lots of little detail in the leaves just when they flap up and you see the other side of where they're folded down. It's only a few frames, but it adds so much life and personality to the piece, I think. And the design's great. How good are those teeth? I love big rounded teeth on a crocodile. Can't get enough of that. If you'd like to learn animation and motion design techniques, I've got a playlist of some of the best tutorials on this channel for you to take a look at. I'll see you in the next one.